Hey guys, Rob here. I got my board here and I got my whiteboard and we're all ready to get started showing you how to do some basic skateboarding techniques. What I'd first like to do is start off just like I start my skateboarding sessions. It's by showing you the parts of the board, okay? Now let's get started. On the black end, the top of your board, you got your grip tape. The grip tape has two sides to it. The black coarse sandpaper like feeling side and the other side which is like an adhesive like a glue that holds a grip tape to your deck your deck is this wooden piece of wood here often what they call a seven ply board or five ply board now I know ply is probably Spanish to you but ply is the amount of layers you have in the board the more layers you have the stronger the board will be now as a beginner you don't have to worry about any of that stuff and you don't really need a very strong board to learn how to push, turn around. But if you get into going downstairs and things like that, you'll probably want to look for that. So next after that, let's look at the parts on the bottom. You got your trucks, you got your wheels, bearings, and bolts. The trucks are what help you turn. Loose trucks will help you turn really super easy. If you got tight trucks, it's going to be a little more difficult. But here's the but. You don't want your trucks to be too loose because if your trucks are too loose, your wheels are going to touch your board and you're going to get what they call wheel bite. Wheel bite is when the wheels take a bite out of the board and that could actually stop you and make you fall as you're going down uh, the road. So don't want no wheel bite. After that, let's go to the bearings. The bearings are what are inside the wheels and are actually what help you, the wheels roll, help you roll at all on the skateboard. So the better bearings you got, the quicker those wheels are going to roll. There's tons of different bearings. ABEX 7 are the quickest types of bearings determined by the amount of balls, they have small little balls inside the bearing, lubricated, that help this wheel turn around. Now, for the bearings, you want to avoid what I call the three nose. The three nose, you don't want these things in your bearings. I got these on the whiteboard. You don't want any mud in the bearings. You don't want any water and you don't want any dirt. Those three things, if you roll over them on your board, they're going to spin up from your wheel and get inside your bearing, even though there's a covering on there, it finds a way to get in. And it's going to rust or slow down those balls as they're rolling. So if you go through water and you throw your board into the closet, you wake up the next day, that wheel is going to be rolling like that. And replacing your bearings is a pain in the butt. So you don't want to mess with that. Don't mess with these three things. Water, dirt, or mud. Don't do it. And then, we got the wheels and we got the bolts. And you got your graphics. Top of the board, bottom of the board. You can tell by the graphics which way it's situated. So that right there is the parts of the board, my friend. The next video, we're going to cover the basic beginner techniques and tricks get you up and rolling on the board. So stay tuned with us.